Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. We're going to shift gears from my usual fare of making superchargers and stuff to something I built a long time ago and I'm trying to update a bit. This here are the parts for my 3D printed HHO generator or electrolysis machine. About 10 years ago I made one of these things following the hype online about running hydrogen in your car and yeah I had one of them in the back of my truck running off a battery and I actually seen decent results but I think that was because I was running it off of a deep cycle battery that I was charging in the house versus running it off the alternator. This here is what's left of the unit that I had in the back of my truck. It's not really pretty and the top of it's gone. It backfired and blew it all to pieces. I'm surprised the bottom's even together. So I don't intend to put this one in a car or you know do anything like that. I kind of want to see if I can make a little soldering torch out of this in the long run. But first I gotta make the generator. So for anyone who doesn't know how an electrolysis machine works, it's pretty simple. I got a bunch of plates here. I'm take these two. And they're gonna be in these grooves. Like so. With about a five four to five millimeter gap between them. And they will be wired positive and negative. And they will be positive, negative, positive, negative all the way to the end. Once the plates are in, they will be wired up to two terminals in here. So they're going to go right here. And this will go in here with the gasket. And hopefully that should hold pressure. So I'm going with a completely submerged system. So I have the two barbs there for airflow or gas flow and water. And here's what I'm going to use for a tank. Now I still got to put the uh, gas outlet barb on here, but these two are going to go to this. Okay, so in start assembly, I salvaged some wire out of the old unit. Got the six out of the eight plates in there that I'm going to use, and I'm going to try and string them all together. Okay, so I fed the wire through the one side. Now I'm going to attempt to solder them. Okay, so I attempted to solder those. And, yeah, apparently solder doesn't stick to stainless. It'd be really nice to have a little spot welder, but I have no real way of welding that on. So, I'm going to have to think of something. As you can see, I know this isn't the best solution, but I went with crimp-on terminals. It should hold up for what I'm going to do with this, though. Alright, after much sticking around, I got everything wired up. Now it's time to put the terminals in here and connect them that way. Alright, we're together. Now I gotta make sure nothing's shorted out inside. Set that on beep mode. Come on, damn it. Well, this is coming apart. Well, I had to take it apart again, and the terminals just weren't working out, so I just took the wire and wrapped it through all the plates and wrapped it around the stainless bolts. All right, we're back together. Perfect. All right, ready to go on to the next step. All right, all wired up. I got it set to a plug. I got the tank cooked up and raised. All I got to do is fill it up with water and plug it in, see what happens. All right, so I got my water, my amp meter, and tank, I got my elect electrolyte in the water, and the power supply is on and ready to go. So there's no water in there, no power is flowing. And as I pour the water in, it, the amperage should increase. bit higher than that power supply is hardly happy for. I'll have to dilute that. A little bit too much electrolyte, but I 
I got a few leaks, but as you can see, we're at four and a half amps. I'm surprised this power supply is still working. Um, and you can see the gas coming out. That is hydrogen and oxygen. So we're a success. Now I need to work on probably a better tank. That's kind of sketchy. And uh, some sort of bubbler as a flashback raster. And then a torch. But it looks like it's going to work. Well, that's about it for now. If you like this, please click like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more later.